I just finished the 100 heads challenge, and I'm going to flip through and talk a little bit about my thoughts on that. Uh, so the 100 heads challenge, the idea is you do 100 heads in 10 days. Uh, it took me like five weeks. 10 days is uh, <laughs> a bit quick for that. Uh, but uh, I think it was really beneficial. And uh, so first I was trying to get familiar with some tools. I'm more familiar with some tools. So these are the ones I used, just a regular mechanical pencil. Um, these are the two Tombow Fidunosuke, the hard and the soft tip. I was trying to think about different occasions for um, using each one. This is a, a fountain pen. This is a Boston Noodlers, Noodlers Boston safety fountain pen. And so it retracts in. I use this with um, this carbon black ink. So it doesn't dry out in the fountain pen. And this is a Pentel pocket brush pen. And I use all of these also because they're waterproof. So some of my drawings I have did uh, watercolor on. We'll look at those too. So starting out, the, the thing I noticed was it took me a really long time to do the first batch of heads. These ones, these ones uh, took a lot of measuring, a lot of kind of looking and relooking and thinking about things. I used uh, the Loomis method for these, which is not something I've really done before. So that was a good opportunity to learn how to do that as well, or at least to learn how to do it better. I think at this point I did a couple of little watercolor ones here. So I was trying to, in addition to get more, more comfortable and familiar with these tools, I was trying to break some bad habits that I noticed that I've kind of taken on over the years. So with a lot of things with art, with drawing especially, uh, you kind of, you learn how to do something and then you sort of slide back into bad habits, into shorthand. And so I, I think that, that for me, uh, generally when I've done heads, I make the space, the, the nose, much too long. I make the forehead much too short. And also I tend to make the left and the right side of the eyes, like the sides of the face, uh, a little bit too small as well. So these were things that I have identified and was trying to really focus on not doing. And as I went, I got a lot quicker at sort of the comparative analysis uh, uh, where things lie and stuff like that. And I think that, that as I went, I got more successes than failures. I really enjoyed uh, what I was, what I could do with the um, the fountain pen, especially. It was a, uh, it's a lot of fun. These really nice thin lines can do a lot of hatching. And as I went, I also started to try to simplify things a bit, as you can kind of see in this face, especially. I think this is an early, an early one uh, where simplifying started to work out for me. Some more color. Um, and these color ones, uh, some of them are on um, Arches Cold Press and some of them are on Saunders Waterford Hot Press because I'm also trying to think about the difference between uh, the Hot Press and the Cold Press watercolor papers as I try to teach myself watercolor. So again, I think that like on this page, the two most successful ones actually are the, the most detailed, the most rendering. I like this one a lot. This was another fountain pen one. And then the simplified kind of shapes, I think this one came out pretty well. It's kind of, I don't know, I feel like I was moving in two directions, getting sort of, at least with the successful ones, more, more maximal and more minimal at the same time. Maybe this, this is a <laughs> really tricky angle. So uh, I, I, got ha I got most of my pictures off of Unsplash. There's a hundred heads kind of folder there. Uh, although they only have, I think, 78. And so I did I did um, a bunch of the Unsplash ones, and I did a lot of the Pinterest ones as well. I did this one next. And so I got to this point, and I was getting pretty happy with how it was coming out. And I decided it would be it would be fun to do um, drawings of drawings for a few of these. So like this one is actually a Loomis head done by Loomis. And then the next page is all different uh, different artists, mostly comic book artists. This was Ted McKeever, uh, Jamie Hewlett. This is uh, Chris Sprouse and Alan Gordon. This one was really difficult. I drew this over and over again. I think that the 
the sort of bold simplicity of it made it way more way more difficult. I mean, this one though, this one is also pretty simple, but I found it not as hard. I think this was my favorite one of the page. I love the heavy blacks with this sort of dynamic marks, and I think I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna think a lot about. I've been thinking a lot about how Ted McKeever achieved that. Uh, this is Fiona Staples, and then this was Gustav Doré, who was an old um, 1800s, maybe 1700s uh, etcher. This was not a success. Not easy drawing and etching, it turns out. Uh, so I went back to doing the, the photos. And again, I think that the, the two fountain pen ones are my favorites on this page again, although I like the heavy shadows here. So I think... I think um, the big takeaway for me is trying to combine these heavy shadows with this fountain pen, these nice delicate lines. At this point, I also did this one here. And so after I drew this head, uh, I got sick for a few days and I didn't draw and I came back and this was my next one. And so it's amazing how when you're drawing, your, your skills can just deteriorate if you don't use them, even for a few days. So uh, I feel like I slid back pretty far and had to kind of to, to crawl my way back up. And after that, things got a lot more, I don't know, kind of stylized or cartoony. I'm not really sure why. It just kind of happened that way. So kind of um, interested in the line quality of this one. It's, it's not a kind of drawing that I'm used to making. And just kind of continued with that strange kind of stylized style all the way through and once again the the fountain pen I, i'm thinking the fountain pen that's the way to go at least for faces and then the last page here and so by the end i was getting i was getting pretty quick at this and i don't know maybe maybe i should have slowed down a little bit i think some of these i could have probably slowed down but I feel like I was um, probably developing a whole new suite of, of bad habits that are slightly less bad than the ones I started with. So all in all, I think I got better. I, I would definitely recommend the 100 Heads Challenge for anybody who's trying to improve. And I think actually I'll probably do 100 Hands at some point, probably do 100 Gestures, probably more than 100 Gestures. All the different things that I'm trying to get better at, I think this is a good way to do it. Kind of make yourself, uh, force yourself out of the bad habits and hopefully... Show some improvement. So that's that's that. Thanks for watching.